Hi, I'm Nikita, and in this video, we're going to be going over double strand break repair using homologous recombination. So, homologous recombination occurs in the process of meiosis, but it can also be used to repair double strand breaks like this one. So, why is this such a fantastic process? Why is it known as the error free process? Well, that's because we're using two homologous chromosomes. And homologous chromosomes are extremely similar to one another. So if I were to take a thousand bases off of this strand over here and compare them to this a thousand bases of this strand over here, this light blue strand, I might only come up with one, two, three, maybe four differences in the DNA sequence. So instead of a G, instead of a G over here, I might have an A. And that's essentially amazing because that means we can use this homologous chromosome to help repair the break of this chromosome by using this chromosome as a template. So let's get further into it. What happens obviously first is a double strand break occurs in one of the chromosomes and then we get into a process that we'll call strand chewing. And what's going to happen here is that this broken chromosome is going to get chewed up a little bit. Okay? And essentially it's going to look like this. So notice, not all ends of the strands were chewed evenly. So this end of this strand was chewed a lot more than this end of this strand. So we have these overhangs, these extra, extra long bits over here, and that's important because it's these bits, or this bit in particular shown here, that's going to invade this chromosome. That we call strand invasion. So the overhanging strand actually went in and invaded the chromosome and paired up with a sequence that was almost exactly like it. And again, this is possible because this strand is homologous to what this strand was previously base paired with, the blue strand. So after this process happens, we can elongate this strand. So a DNA polymerase comes in and extends this broken strand and pushes this, this strand out. So one thing to point out here is that this pink, uh, this pink portion of the strand is to show that the actual DNA bases, the sequence here, is going to be exactly the same as the sequence here because the DNA polymerase is using this strand as the template for the extension, the elongation. And so I'm just going to use dashed lines to show where we elongated, okay? Also, again, notice that this strand has been pushed out. And now, look, it's closer to this strand, so we can actually elongate this strand as well. So again, this color represents the fact that this portion of this strand is going to be exactly the same as this portion of this strand. And DNA ligase comes in and ligates the broken ends here. Then we get into a process known as branch migration. And notice we have two junctions here and here. And essentially, they can migrate, they can move around back and forth until they're stopped and these junctions are cut in one of two ways. So you can think of it as two zippers on a jacket. If you've ever seen one, they're pretty cool. If you haven't, you could just think of one zipper or this being one zipper and this being another zipper, moving up and down in any which way. So as I mentioned earlier, 
these structures are going to have to be cut in order to untangle these now tangled chromosomes. And there's two ways of cutting it, but let's say for this one, we're going to cut it, we're going to cut this solid pink strand and this dashed pink strand, just like that. And then we're going to ligate that, and it's going to look like that. And for this next holiday structure, we are going to cut at the top here. And what we can do when we know we're going to cut at the top, these top two strands, is essentially we could just flip them around. So take this portion and this portion and flip them around. So we essentially would end up with this, where I took this portion of this strand and put it on this bottom strand here. And I took this portion of this bottom strand and flipped it over to the top here. Now, if you want a little help uh, visualizing this, there are other videos. So check out some resolving holiday structure videos up on YouTube. And after this happens, the holiday structure, the holiday junction comes apart. And we are left with two recombined chromosomes. And these chromosomes are known as recombinant because if you look at the strands, the strands are one part original strand and one part homologous strand. And that's true of every single strand. Now, another way we could cut the holiday structure would give us strands that are one part original, one part homologous, and then one part, another part rather, original. So what would that look like? So if we had cut over here, we would make a strand that is red at the end, pink in the center, and then red again at the other end. And we would get a dark blue, light blue, and dark blue. So original, homolog, original. And that, that chromosome would be called a non-recombinant chromosome. So this was a overview of homologous recombination and its use in DNA double strand break repair. This video was brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Resource Center, and the Department of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Resource Center.